It is super wide and benefited by the f1.8 fast aperture. You may also get a shadow depth of field looking despite a small 1 inch sensor. And G5 has electronic stabilization. All these features make it so nice for vlogging. The Leica One Series camera G1 allows on September 21st, 2011, and the last model J5 allows on April 2nd, 2015. I bought this copy at a very low price, 100 for the body and 100 for the lens. I've been using it around 2 weeks. It's so compact and easy to use. I almost take it everywhere I go. I don't know why Leica gave up this lens. It's actually pretty good. Hi, I'm Chris and welcome to my channel. I'm happy to introduce you budget cameras, phones, and other stuffs. If you want to save your money, subscribe to this channel. Are ready? Let's go! Look how small this camera is. This 1 inch 20 megapixel camera shoots 20 frames per second with continuous auto focus, captures 4K and Full HD video, benefited from 3 inch tunable touch screen. It's also a nice camera for vlogging. Technically, there are three dials. One for changing shoot mode, one for zooming or changing shutter speed, and the smallest one can change ISO. There's a built-in pop-up flash on the top, a micro HDMI port and a micro USB port on the left. There's no microphone port, don't ask too much, it just cost me $100. I've been using this tiny camera for two weeks and I really like it, here's why. This camera weighs only 260 grams with battery and memory card. You can even put it in your pocket. As the core factor is about 2.7, attached with 10 to 100 mm lens, you get equivalent 27 to 2017 angle view range with stabilization, and it weighs only 580 grams, even lighter than Sony A7 Mark III's body. You can take it with you almost anywhere anytime without any burden. This hybrid autofocus combines 105 freeze detect focus points and 171 contrast detect focus point. It works pretty good both photography and videography. Of course, not as good as Sony, but quite usable for daily use. To be honest, I was a little worried before I got this little camera. Come on, one inch sensor, even smartphone like Xiaomi has that size sensor. It turns out very good. This 20.8 megapixel BSI one inch CMOS without no pass filter. It delivers a very sharp image, maybe even sharper comparing to other entry level zoom lens on M43 or APS-C and countersigns is really good looking. Yes, one inch sensor means more noise and low light ISO. I don't think there is a big difference. For me, it's totally acceptable. This tint 100 lens with stabilization only cost me around $100 and 10 to 30 mm lens is even cheaper. For portrait photography, I strongly suggest you choose 32f 1.2 lens. It might be a little expensive, but there is a solution. 1 inch C mount menu lens. With an adapter, you can attach it to your Nikon J5 and there is no vignette. 20 dollars give you shallow depth of field photos like this. Even today, many cameras don't have it. It is so important for vlogging. Attached with this 6mm CMOD lens, you get a 16 equivalent angle view. It is super wide and benefited by the f1.8 fast aperture. You may also get a shadow depth of field looking despite a small 1 inch sensor. And G5 has electronic stabilization. All these features make it so nice for vlogging. There is no perfect camera. Nikon 1J5 has many pros but also many cons.
The mechanic short term means it might be not a good camera to shoot fast moving subject and there is no shoulder vibration. It just feels like a toy. Hand group is super tiny in the EVF and battery life is poor only for 215 shots. 20 frames per second the continuous shots only last about 1 second. I don't know why I can do this. This camera do magnify the center part of the image when you use a Leica's lens like this one. But if you use a manual lens, it doesn't work anymore. On this 3-inch screen, it is so hard to focus accurately. It is so frustrating. But Leica has given up this camera lens. It is not easy to get lens unless here in China. You can only buy second-hand lens online without warranty. A sun lens isn't cheap compared to M43. If you use a Leica's adapter, it makes this compact system big and heavy, and the autofocus also drops down. When you flip up the screen, you cannot record 4K, and many lens does not work anymore. If you insist vlogging with a manual lens, you can only see yourself upside down. If you want a better vlogging experience, go like on 6.7 to 30mm lens, which is 3 times more expensive than this one. In summary, this 7 years old camera still offers a good quality for experienced photographers or vloggers. But if you are a beginner or you want to invest a lot on camera system, this may not be a good choice. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please remember to subscribe and see you next time. Bye bye.